In today's video, we're going to be looking at the comparison of the German Shorthead Pointer and the Akita. These two sizable dogs are both beloved for different reasons, many of which will be explored in this video. Let's get started. Welcome back to the German Shorthead Pointer channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenwayCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the German Shorehead Pointer. Then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise perfect pointers. So if you're a lifelong pointer lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new German Shorthead Pointer, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future German Shorthead Pointer video. So let's get into today's video where we will be looking at the differences between the German Shorthead Pointer and the Akita. We'll start with a quick look at their noteworthy history. The GSP was created to fulfil the need for a versatile hunting dog due to the rise of the German Empire in the 1880s. The heightened demand for meat and hides required a dog with a sensitive nose, discipline and an instinct to focus on the hunt. The GSP we know today are developed from old Spanish pointers and Braque Francais, with the addition to the German bloodhounds for tracking and scent work purposes, while also softening the breed's temperament. In the 1860s, this mixture was further crossed with English pointers to improve their speed and pointing instincts. The end product was a sleek, intelligent, loyal and versatile gun dog with incredible stamina, a highly developed pointing instinct and an eagerness to retrieve game. The Akita is known to have originated in the Akita province in northern Japan. Records of the breed date back to the 1600s. The breed was used for the protection of royalty, hunting fowl and large game, including bears. The breed has long been held in high respects with Japanese people. It's said that there's an old Japanese tradition where when a child is born, the parents are gifted a model of an Akita to signify happiness and a long life for the child. But it wasn't until the 1920s that they were brought to America by Helen Keller and there was a trend after World War II where soldiers stationed overseas brought back Akitas to America, creating a boost in popularity from 1956. However, this created a bit of a divide. There was now an American standard and a Japanese standard for the breed, which caused some tension, leading to a delay in acceptance of the breed in the AKC until 1972. Now, the GSP has a short, smooth coat, which is typically speckled across the body and legs in a common liver and white paired with a solid liver head. Another recognised colour is white and black. Large, solid patches of colour across the body are also common. These dogs are athletic to look at with a large barrel chest, powerful hindquarters and a typically docked tail. The male GSP stands around 23 to 25 inches to the shoulder and weighs 30 kilograms at its healthiest. Females stand at 21 to 23 inches and should weigh 25 kilograms. They have alert expressions, bright eyes and wide sleek ears that hang below their jowls. This aids in scent work as their ears trail along the ground, picking up as many scents as possible. When moving, they're elegant and sure-footed, which is a testament to their working heritage as versatile terrain. Now the Akita is a large dog, powerful and strong throughout. Males can reach 27 inches at the shoulder and weigh up to 39 kilograms. Females can stand at 25 inches and weigh 29 kilograms. Subject to good body score. They have an impressively large head without being unbalanced, small erect ears, bright alert eyes and a deep muzzle. The body is strong while comparatively short to breeds of similar weight, with thick muscular shoulders and chest, a straight sturdy back and well muscled legs. The feet are somewhat cat-like, compact and small for the size of the dog but with hardy pads. Their tails are likely to be the most characteristic of the breed, famously curling up to lie across their back. It could be argued that the GSP is best suited to a working lifestyle or a hunting family, but this isn't a necessity should you provide the correct stimulation. As mentioned, they are highly intelligent and so need to be consistently trained with stimulating activities. A firm hand is best when training this breed. They have been known to ignore commands should they feel their attention is best spent elsewhere. For example, you may struggle to recall a pointer if they've already caught the scent of a rabbit. They need structure in their life. All in all, they are loyal to their owners and love to work. Keeping them occupied with fun, stimulating training is what will give them a high quality of life with you. The Akita is a very intelligent and loyal dog, but like the Frenchie, they can be headstrong and stubborn, which can be an issue with such a strong breed if correct training isn't implemented straight away. 
They'll instinctively guard too, so early socialization is key to prevent them becoming overly protective of the house or family members. The loyalty to their owners makes them adaptable to training, but be sure to be consistent and thorough. They will respond well to positive training methods, but be sure to be somewhat strict. They're like toddlers, and if you give them an inch, they will take a mile. It should come as no surprise that these dogs thrive in a busy, active lifestyle. Loyalty and close bonds to their family are what can be expected from a GSP, but this can lead to them incapable of coping to be alone for extended periods of time. If they're left in an unstimulating environment, they tend to display distress destructive behaviours. This may never be an issue should you provide the right setting for them. They're also best suited to experienced dog owners or those that can allow for the GSP to be predominantly outside exploring or working. Another key aspect of this dog's personality is that they instinctively have a high prey drive. This is something that can only be curbed by consistent, strong training. Even so, you should be wary when your GSP is off lead. It can prove too tempting to most, should a rabbit come into its eyeline. Akitas are bold, willful dogs with an inherent caution of strangers, but immense loyalty to their owners. There's good reason that they're entrusted to keep Japanese royalty safe, and so be wary of this before deciding they're the breed for you. They'll be affectionate and playful with the family, tending to be vocal in play in terms of grumbles, but these aren't the breed for timid people. You need a personality to match this breed. They'll require firm, stable leadership to truly thrive and to be their best selves. A pointer has an extremely high level of endurance for exercise. A working dog will be happy to spend all day in the field retrieving game back to their owner. Ideally, they need the best part of two hours of interesting varied exercise to keep them happy and healthy. It has to be a combination of mental and physical stimulation, otherwise they'll get bored when at home, leading to mischief or destructive behaviours. A short haired pointer is easier to groom than an Akita. The short coat will need a dry brush should they get muddy, but they're very low maintenance. It just depends on the environment you exercise them in. The Akita is a moderately active dog. They need up to one to two hours exercise a day, depending on the intensity of this exercise. The breed does tend to like water, so socialize them to that when they're young, because it's a great way to tire them out that is a bit different to the regular walks around the park. The coat of an Akita is very dense and they do shed, so expect to work your hoover more should you get one. Weekly brushing will aid that shedding and only bath them every few months, unless they've rolled in mud or had a swim in a questionable lake. I hope you enjoyed today's video, if so make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below and don't forget, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe as we have two dedicated German short head pointer videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the German short head pointer channel.